Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa and today I am here with a tutorial on how I do my custom calendar in The Sims 2. This calendar is designed to allow me to keep all the Sims in the neighborhood at the same age. In other words, to keep them um, synced together so that you don't end up with a toddler who's older than their mom or uh, cousins whose ages are way out of sync. Traditionally, the way Simmers have done this is to play in rotation. In other words, if there's a Sim in this house, they play this house for five days and then they move on to the next house and they play that house for five days. The advantage of this is that your Sims always stay synced together as far as their ages are concerned. No one ends up older or younger than they should be in comparison to the other Sims. The disadvantage is that it's boring <laughs> sometimes, particularly if you have a large hood. I've seen people comment that they're really kind of dreading playing the next house in rotation for example, because that house is born. And so they kind of got to suffer through five days of it just to keep that household in sync. Kind of that kind of structured play style of a hood, particularly when you get into larger hoods, can really be not fun. This calendar is the solution that I have created to allow me to follow the story and not the aging mechanics. So I'm going to do my best to explain this to you. I've never really explained it to anyone or shown it to anyone. So let's hope that I can get it clear and concise for you. This is the annual calendar of Kettle Falls. It's called the annual calendar. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's the name that came to me when I was thinking of what my calendar would be called. I basically wanted something that moved along with days, as, as it were, um, the semblance of days without having to be trapped in a certain order in which I played. Let me scroll down and show it to you and then I'll explain it. This is the um, annual calendar for Kettle Falls. Nothing has happened really here yet. We're still on the first annual. Let's think of the annuals as just kind of days. You can see there it's laid out just like a calendar. These five annuals are spring, summer, autumn, fall. It might be easier to get a grasp on it by seeing one that's already been played for a while. This is my calendar system for Akinthop. It's basically the same thing Akinthopian annual calendar. <laughs> this is a calendar that I've played for a while. So basically your first question might be, well, how long is an annual? How many sim days is that? That's what I want you to see. Get your, get that kind of thinking out of your mind, just poof, right out of your head. It's however many days you want it to be. An annual can last as many same sim days as you want. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that something happens on that annual. And if something happens, you play that out. But you might think, well, they're ages. They'll get all out of sync. Well, that's true. There is one mod that is necessary to run this calendar system. That mod is Individual Aging by Monique. This mod has been updated until I believe OFB. And then um, another modder came along after Monique left the community and updated that mod to uh, free time and apartment life. So if you have OFB or um, EPs below that, in the hist in the uh, in the release cycle of The Sims, I think you'd want to go for this one. If you have free time or apartment life, 
as your last EP or mansions and gardens, then you want to go for this updated version. These links will be in the description box. This is a, a symbology, which is a great little forum uh, that two Jeffs, who is a or was a prolific modder in the Sims 2 community. This is was his forum. It's been taken over by volunteers now. Anyway, this link that I'm going to put into the description will lead you directly to the upload for Monique's individual aging for um, for uh, free time and apartment life and mansions and gardens. So if you have the Sims 2 all in one as I do or the Sims 2 um, ultimate collection, this is the one you want to go for. So having said that, you know, if you, you know, that you need a mod and you're willing to do that, that's no problem. This mod is what my, Monique is a great and Ancient Highway are both very skilled modders. I love these mods and I've never had a single problem with them. Let me show you how they work. So uh, we're going to head on into the flop house. It's a rainy spring day in Kettle Falls. And um, we're going to head on in and I will show you how the individual aging mod works. Okay, it is a Friday morning about 7 a.m. and folks are just getting up and around and about at the flop house. And Ryder Wexler is here on the top floor and he's gonna be our guinea pig. And he was looking up at the camera when I last left this lot. So cute, look at that. So um, basically the individual aging mod is pretty simple. You click on a sim and you turn their aging on or off, that's it. <laughs> there you go. You don't even have to unpause or unpause the game. Also, the sim doesn't have to be the selected sim. I believe, yep, over here, Kathy's aging is off. So when I add Sims into the game as part of my setup process, all I do is turn their aging off. There you go, individual aging, simple, easy. Um, going back here to the calendar. So now we've taken care of why the Sims aren't aging. We're aging them on our own schedule as opposed to the game, um, the game mechanics schedule. How do we know when their birthdays are? Well, that's the next step. I have a sim, uh, a set of twins actually, that were born in Akinthop that you guys did meet during uh, the Let's Play of Akinthop. And they are Denton and Darby, Kimberly. The Kimberly family was a sweet family with a bunch of kids and they adopted kids and then they had surprise twins, it was great. Anyway, they were born on the first day of Lamas. And that was the first day I was playing, the first annual that I was playing the hood. But if I recall correctly, this annual lasted uh, several sim days. I would say maybe as far as a sim week or so, because the first annual is the one that I spend going from house to house, setting all the sims up and getting them playable. And then I move on to the next annual. That's just how I do it. So um, Dar Darby Kimberly, Denton and Darby, um, it, were born on this day. So their birthday is uh, the first annual uh, Lamas, the first annual of a uh, Naven one. Naven is a, consider that to be a month. It's just a month. That's all. It's just spring, summer, autumn, winter. Naven two, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Naven three, same thing. So um, anyway, so I had the uh, Sims here. So the next thing to do is to set up their ages. When a Sim is born, or when they just come into the hood, I set up their ages. Most Sims come into the hood as um, adults or elders. When they're born, they have an entire range of life to uh, live out. In order to keep things interesting, I have randomized the number of uh, days, annuals, that a Sim will be in that age range. So a baby will be a baby for two, three, or four annuals. Then they turn into a toddler. Over here, I rolled a three for the number of days that Denton and Darby, the number of annuals, I'm sorry, the number of annuals that Denton and Darby would be babies. That was three annuals. That took us over here to the fourth. Then I rolled again. They also got a three. So they're toddlers for three annuals. Then I got to here 
and I rolled an eight. You might wonder where I'm getting these numbers from. I've changed the numbers in, in uh, the calendar for Kettle Falls because I found these numbers to be a little bit too long, so I adjusted them. But basically, over here, it says how long a sim will be of an age range. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm heading over here. You can either roll a six-sided die or you can use the 3D dice roller. You can just click here. There will be a link for this in the description. I'm going to clear. We're going to roll one D6 and I'm going to throw. It's a six, so I basically, since I'm using threes here, and there's no such thing as a three-sided die, well, if there is, there isn't on that site. Um, a six would just be the same as a three, basically. So it's one, four, two, five, three, six. It's just a quick way to do it. So um, that would mean that I rolled a three, so that the sim I was rolling for would be a baby for four annuals. If I rolled a, rolled a uh, two, they would be a baby, a toddler for three annuals. That's it. So when a sim comes into the hood or a baby's born after I'm done playing, you know, while I'm waiting for an episode to upload or something like that, I'll just go in quickly and set them up with their their aging. Back over here to uh, Akinthop's calendar. So you can see over here that uh, Denton and Darby's life continues on. At this point would have been their teen turning. They became children and we played that through. Then over here, they became teens. They're teens for 12 days. So that takes them to over here, young adult, young adult for eight days, and so on. As I went on and more Sims came into the hood, there were more birthdays or what I call turnings because the Sim, when they change, uh, when they um, go to the birthday cake and they age up, they turn in a quick circle and they become a, a different age. So I've just, for years, I've called it a turning. That's like the sim word for birthday, basically. Anyway, so I add them in, you know? So you might be thinking, oh, I have a hood with 150 sims, I can't do this. Well, I wouldn't be able to do that either if I had 150 sims to add in to this. I'd have to be really determined to do it. And that's one of the things, if you're just, it's great if you're just starting out with a hood and you start out with 10 sims, or if you have just, a, you know, 50 sims and you want to add them in over time. I can understand it would be very um, daunting to add it in if you have a ton of sims. So you just keep on with your rotations if that's the case. Um, or you buckle down and add them in. So um, the other thing that the calendar is good for is I've always liked the idea of holidays and the idea of playing the entire neighborhood as opposed to just playing house to house to house to house to house. With rotations, that ends up being the feeling that I get when I think about rotations to keep everybody in sync. You're just playing the next house to the next house to the next house. Even if you find ways to change up the order in which you play the houses, you're still obligated to play the houses and it's just very tedious. In this way, the only thing I need to do on annual number one after they're born is, well, nothing. Let's see, on annual number two, um, there's a toddler turning. A Kayan, uh, one of the characters in Akinthop, turned into a toddler. So I just make sure that at some point in this annual, while I'm playing around in the neighborhood, following the stories, I age him up into a toddler. I'll talk about what Biku is, the, the holiday. On Marwin, nothing really happened much on that annual so I didn't write anything down. On this one, there was a toddler turning. So, so every time, I mean, basically I finish an annual when it feels done. When there's an, when I say, I'm ready to move on to the next day and get on with this toddler turning. Um, and also I mark when important things happen. This creates an un, no other way have I found to create a sense of history within a hood. For example, Deva Arai, who ended up marrying Kathy, uh, Kathy Walsh, uh, unexpected to all of us, that's when she arrived um, in the neighborhood. And on this annual, as I was playing them through, they got engaged, which was a surprise. If you guys remember, Kathy autonomously uh, went to uh, get Deva engaged with her. Um, and then on this day, they got married. On this annual, I keep saying day, I'm sorry. Um, so that keeps some history. Also, People uh, aged up. People got engaged. 
Trig Fowler, who was a farmer, arrived that day. So I am using a code to quickly determine what the um, what things are. Up here is my little code. Birth, engaged, wedding, legal, educational holidays. If I type something in, for example, we'll do it here on our nice clean and new calendar. Uh, let's just say a birth happened on this day. A birth of twins. And I want to quickly color that to birth. I just go over here to the birth area, click on Format Painter, and select Whoops, not that. Let's do that again. <laughs> Click on Format Painter and just drag and select this there. And that shows me that that was a birth. There's such a sense of satisfaction of seeing weddings, engagements, different things happening throughout the hood as you're playing it. Uh, let's see what else I can share with you about this. Ah, the holidays. So I wanted a celebration of the different um, seasons in my hood. I have winter, spring, uh, the typical four seasons. And these are the, uh, this is the way that I have found to do it. I'm going to go over here to the Akinthop calendar, uh, Kettle Falls calendar. And uh, we'll look at uh, Biku, which is in spring. Biku is about rebirth new love celebration it's every fetral of spring costumes and there's a modeling show those were my ideas for how i might celebrate this among the hood fetral llamas fetral marwin Tuther, fenton these are just like i said consider them to kind of be days of the calendar they're custom names that i made up that i've really i really like um and biku is on the first fetral of spring first you know this is spring First Fetral, Second Fetral, Third Fetral, First Fetral of Spring, Second Fetral of Summer, Third Fetral of Autumn. Do you see? Simple. So there's Biku. Next month, same thing, Biku. Next month, same thing, Biku. I've endeavored to have something happen every quinoal or week. Quinoal, you can see here, quinoal, five annuals. Just means what this is. I wanted a, a term for what this was besides week. You know, so I just call it a quinoa. Uh, anyway, so High Fenton happens here. High Fenton is um, gathering that's in uh, summer to renew friendship and make new ones. Every Fenton of summer, swimming party and live band. So I actually used the Prima Guide for seasons to determine what would happen on each of these days because you actually get benefits for the different seasons in the game that's coded into the game or the gameplay and so i looked at what the seat what the seasons were um what benefits you get for the season uh for example in the fall i believe it is autumn there's a faster skilling for example um and so i use those kind of as ideas for how i could play these out um, I believe relationships build faster in the spring. So that's why I caused that to be a new love time. Anyway, High Fenton is summer. A, there's a swimming party and a live band that would happen in the commons. These are things that I'm thinking that will happen in the commons. The uh, main central park uh, in Akathop is called the commons. We might make it the same here in Kettle Falls. Uh, in Even Fair, uh, let's see, no, Autumno Expo. I uh, consider that to be kind of a place where people could go and buy a lot of veg veggies and fruits from the different farms around. There'd be campfires uh, and fire dancing. There'd be the fire dancing NPC. Finally, formal dress and skating for even fair. So um, you might say, well, I didn't see you play through Biku uh, when we were in Akinthop. And that's true. Because I was still working out the calendar um, I skipped past Biku because I wasn't sure how I was going to play it out yet. And I figured that as we got closer to things, uh, another holiday, like Even Fair, I would have been ready to explain to you how the calendar works and what Even Fair meant. So that is basically the calendar for Kettle Falls. I hope I have explained everything well. Another little note here is um, I planned at uh, in Akinthop to have a mayor. But if you want to have, say, a, a term of office for 
your mayor or president or a head of your town, you can add that in and say the mayoral, ter mayoral term is seven annuals, for example. And you can just make up how long you think it's going to be. As I've played through my calendar system, I've been able to hone it and make it um, work out any kinks. So this one is my uh, latest version and you will see it in play as we play through Kettle Falls. Please let me know if you have any comments below, um, any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and let me know if you plan on doing something similar in your hood, a way to have freedom from rotations, yet still keep everybody in sync, bring holidays into your uh, Sims life, and also have a historical record of what's happened in your hood as you have played it through. It's basically hits all of the points of what I wanted in a calendar system. And it's worked really great for me. I hope it does for you as well too. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved it, join the party and subscribe. I'll see you back here for more Kettle Falls. We'll go in and say goodbye to everybody in Kettle Falls for this uh, episode. And let them go off uh, to their day at the flop house. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, as always, for watching. <laughs>